All right, so the Charleston draw came out uh, around this time yesterday, and there's a lot of players playing in this one. It's a big event, WTA 500 event on the green clay, which is kind of weird to see when you watch the event. But some players, some big names are playing. It's got a big top 10 list, but some big names have also pulled out. So let's go to the withdrawal list. So here are the withdrawals for Charleston. We have Danielle Collins. She pulled out. Simona Halep's also out. Arn Lee, Martin Kova, Muguruth has pulled out. Ostapenko, Diaz, Petkovic, uh, Ruse, Sharif, Svetlina is out. And Sviantek has also pulled out of this one for obvious reasons. She's just played one, three of the biggest tournaments on the tour. So she deserves a week off. So some big names out there. And okay, so here is the top of the draw. You can see there Sabalenka is up, up, up the very top. She got a wild card. Uh, she gets a buy in the first round. Top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Uh, Sabalenka, she awaits the winner of Risk versus McNally. We're going out in the first round. Then we got Put and Seven taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the number 15 seed Anissa Mova in the second round. Then we got the number nine seed Keys taking on Gasanova. Winner of that match takes on either Bolkvedets. He's taking on Davis. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Paulini. Winner of that takes on the number six seed Pagula. So Savalink is not in great form. So who does who wins? Who comes out of this part of the draw? It's going to be tough. Um, I've got no idea. Pagula was good last week, but again, this is a clay court event. So who's going to be well on clay? Maybe Anisimova might be the one to watch out for because Anisimova was a French Open semi-finalist a few years ago. So maybe Anisimova is the one to watch out for. Or maybe Keys. But yeah, I feel like you know the best, the top seeds in this one, I don't know. It's hard to pick them, especially at Sabalenka at the moment. Second part of the draw now, the second quarter of the draw, we've got Jabor, the number four seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either, either Navarro or Brengel in the second round. Then we've got Wong versus Bagu. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 14 seed Tomjanovic in the second round. Then we've got the number 12 seed Cornet taking on Parks. Winner of that match takes on either Ruse or the American Baptist there. Uh, then we've got Sastovic taking on Kalanina. Winner of that match takes on the number 5 seed Rabakina. So the two big names, Jabor, Rabakina, I think they're the names to watch out for. Uh, Rabakina has played well on clay in the past. So, you know, don't, don't overlook her. Don't think that just because she's a big hitter doesn't mean she can play on clay. She can. She's very good on the clay. So, uh, yeah, interested to see how this one plays out again, being a WTA 500 event. You just never know what's going to happen. Bottom half of the draw now, the second, or the third quarter of the draw, we've got Fernandez, the number seven seed, getting a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Lynette or Volinette, who so are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Rogers versus Kanepi. Winner of that match takes in either Fretch or the number 11 seed, Kvitova, in the second round. Then we've got the number 13 seed, Stevens, taking on Zheng. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Alexandrova in the second round. Then we've got Zavatska taking on Yuan. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Karolina Pliskova. We haven't seen much of because she's been injured for the most part. I guess if you're looking at form, you're probably going to go with Fernandez or Kvitova or Stevens. Hard to pick Pliskova right now because she is still coming back from that hand injury. But again, it's one of those events where, I don't know, you know, the, the top seeds might not be the ones who wins. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got the defending champion, the number eight seed, Kudamatova, she plays a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualies going at it. Uh, then we've got Konju versus the wildcard for Uvatova, who had a good week last week at, uh, in Miami. We know that match takes on either Wong or the number 10 seed Benchich in the second round. Then we've got the number 16 seed Zhang taking on a qualifier. We know that match takes on either another qualifier or Lu in the second round. Then we've got Hartono taking on Bondaire. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Paola Badosa. And I think Badosa is going to be the favorite for this tournament. Uh, even if uh, you know she is the second seed, she's definitely in better form than someone like a Sabalenka. So she's probably the favorite to win the whole thing. Definitely got to watch out for her. Kudabatova's the defending champ. Worth watching out for her. But also Bencic. Bencic, you know, having a good week last week. She can play on clay. I think she won uh, Madrid a few years ago, which is a big clay court event. So watch out for her as well. Anyone could win, especially coming off Miami. It's it's a very quick transition from Miami to the clay. I mean, Bados is the favorite, I think, uh, to, to, to win it. And she's probably the one everyone expects to win it. But... I don't know. It's, it's a tricky one for me. Maybe Sabalenka comes good. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Jabor comes good and, and, and wins something. Maybe Pliskova, this is her return. I I don't know. It's going to be tough, but I think Bados is the favorite, and she's the one to pick for the W and for the win. But uh, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Who's going to win this event in Charleston?